Hello everyone, this is Henry from Fun Reviews. I'm coming to you today to describe what weapons you should use for best in slot for your monsters. Okay, using Colorado weapons. There's three weapons. It's the Thunderblade, Dragonheart, and Arcane Tone. So I'm trying to come to you today so that you guys would understand which ones you should be assigning to your heroes. So, let's go into it. I wanted to describe the Thunderblade to start off. The Thunderblade is meant for fast attackers. The fast attackers like Abyss Demon and Chiron because when the faster they hit, they allow lightning bolts to strike five enemy targets or buildings. So, basically, the faster they can hit, the faster these bolts will start shooting out which will give you overall more damage. The next one is the Arcane Tome. The Arcane Tome is meant for AoE damage dealers. So when you can do a lot of different attacks at the same time, such as like the Pangoli, he basically spreads out the damage amongst many attackers. Yeah. This will build up fury and power dramatically. And as, on top of that, if your Pangoli kills a hero, they gain 20 fury. You get up to 100 fury, your power and your speed will boost by a lot. So trust me, you would want to use this. The next one is the Dragon Heart. The Dragon Heart is meant for tanks. I've recently realized how useful this is because I assigned it to my pounder and when you have it in any scenario when there's a lot of little things hitting you like wizards or sharpshooters or any of the above you know if they're hitting him really quickly he also gains like a dodge percentage as well as regaining HP after getting hit 30 times. So it makes him even more tanking doing doing that overall. So I just wanted to break down like a list that I had of what you should be using for what heroes. So I'm gonna go through a list to say, you know, what you should assign your hero according to what I see here, okay? Uh, the first one will be Chiron. Uh, you can use either Thunderblade or Arcane Tome uh, because they have a lot of splash damage. When I say splash damage, because you have, you can split up the Chiron multiple heroes and attack. The Pangoli will can also do the same thing, and with his power. He can hit up to four at the same time. So, so continue on. Uh, there, there's a Carol. I would say probably use a. Dragon Heart Whiffed for speed. And let's see, let's go to the next one. It would be. Air Elite would be great. They're very fast. Proc more lightning bolts as soon as possible. Uh, next one on the list is Hydrosaur. Same thing. Use Thunderblade. Why Thunderblade? Hydrosaur also attacks. Actually, all air attackers, they they attack quickly on like the defense. So after they hit, that that damage will definitely split around all the defense bolt and just clear it much faster. The next one is Safrix. He's also air. You can either use the Arcane Tome or the Thunder Blade. The reason I I actually chose Arcane Tome for Safrix 
is because his damage, his AoE damage from his attack, basically, like I said in the beginning of the video, AoE will generate so much more power because you're definitely going to plow through and just annihilate things, you know? So, as you can see here, uh, that's Royale, but basically he shoots uh, like ice in a straight row of where he's facing. And if you plow through like the, the little minion buildings and things like that, that basically get one shot over this Gale Rush. Yeah, he's going to generate so much fury so quick. He will get a lot of damage boost from that. Uh, next on my list is Savage Chief. Uh, because I call him a tank, I would recommend you using Dragonheart. Because if you were to empower the Savage Chief... Let me pull Savage Chief up real quick. He, he basically restores health to himself as well as increases his speed so he can attack more right but because of his tankiness yes he can gain a lot of life back from dragon heart not only will he be attacking faster he will be healing himself up as well as being healed by the dragon heart so that's a big plus okay next one is blockhead this guy is super super fast at his attacks so this can go a few ways you can either make him your tank and basically use dragon heart or or guys you can use thunder blade remember i said if you use thunder blade he attacks super duper fast if you were to have powered him up a lot you make him attack really quick guys he will definitely proc a lot of lightning bolts. So, Blockhead is pretty good for uh, a Thunderblade. So, you can either use Thunderblade or Dragonheart because he can also be a tank. But I, I would recommend a Thunderblade because he, he's a fast attacker. The next one is Skull Mage. The Skull Mage, uh, I would go with either thunder blade or arcane tome thunder blade is pretty good because he he's also a, a decent fast hacker he increases the speed of all the wizards for you guys so for all you guys doing the wizard spec where you have five heroes with all wizards and you speeding them up yeah that will definitely help proc a lot of lightning bolts so uh, next on the list, if anybody uses Glory Priestess, just use Thunderblade uh, because, you know, it's range attack. It helps because you can shoot long range. You don't have to penetrate the walls. And the attack speed's not that great, but it still procs enough uh, after a certain amount of attack. So Glory Priestess... Go with the Thunder Blade. Then for Demon Slayer. I don't know if anybody still uses the Demon Slayer as much. But uh, he's AoE. Right? If you use him, he's pretty good uh, with any of the three. Because he could be a tank. He could be a uh, mass attacker. He could use the Arcane Tome because he's mass AoE. He, if he hits hard enough, he should be able to dominate a lot of the little minions and stuff. And like say the arena, for instance, and his fury would just rise tremendously, right? Because you're killing off all the little, the little minion guys, mercenaries. Uh, next would be the Blitz Bomber. Blitz Bomber, 100% go with the Thunder. The Thunderblade, he attacks fast using his crazed barrage, makes it even better. He basically this uh, hops around to I believe three or four targets. So if you were to use his power and he had uh, his power raised where you only use one rage, you can definitely build up the DPS really quick using the Thunderblade and make 
a lot of procs occur. Next would be uh, Rainy Van. I have Rainy Van right here. So Rainy Van could, you know, it could vary because this one is a reviver. You want it to survive. Sometimes when she's being attacked like crazy, you want her to build survivability. She's not like a major attacker. So you would probably want to go defensive with Rain Event. Uh, so I chose to go with Dragon Heart with this one because if she dodges enough and gets some heals back, you know, she would get more life back. So that's what I decided to use Dragon Heart with her if, if required. Uh, next, Pounder. I already mentioned or you guys already saw previously that my Pounder is definitely going to get a Dragon Heart. He is currently assigned a Dragon Heart because he is a tank. He is a beast, 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 beast tank. When he's being attacked like crazy from all angles, he gets heals back and he gets an increase in dodging attacks. That's enough said for me. Dragon Heart all the way for Pounder. Because Pounder, yes, he can splash damage, but he is a tank. Look at how much life he has on, currently for me, how he's set up. But he regains HP just because he has a lot of people attacking him at the same time. It definitely boosts him like a lot. It, it gives him a big boost. Uh, next on the list would be Arctic Lord. Arctic Lord is also tanky, so this this can be many things because Arctic Lord is uh, splash AOE damage. Uh, if you wanted to make him tanky, you can go with Dragon Heart, but at the same time, Arctic Lord is pretty much uh, strong DPS because he has a lot of splash damage. You can attack the furthest enemy. And at the same time, if you were to have gotten his uh, divine, yeah, he's immune for 10 seconds and eight da eight enemies that are literally within his circle or within his range are being attacked in like in a uh, ring damage. So he has good AOE, he has good range. His attack is pretty awesome because he he can. You can use this to attack the furthest enemy, but while he's spinning towards that enemy, all everything in between that gets damaged. So like all the buildings laying in between will get hit. So very good for having a dragon heart, but if, if you're going defensive, go dragon heart. If you're going offensive, I recommend arcane tome. Okay. Next on the list is Dark Rider. Dark Rider, he's pure tank. He is a pure tank. Not only will he do damage reduction, he will, if you gave him a Dragon's Heart, he will also gain some dodge as well as regaining health. So his Divine too, I, I've seen many people use. I kind of decided to not go further with this, but yeah, you get like a absorption shield also. So he is pure tank, man. Dark Rider, 100% tank, 100% dragon heart. No questions asked about that one. The next one is the Great Sage. Okay, the Great Sage, I would recommend using the Thunder Blade because not only does he silence his targets, he does AOE damage against four heroes. He will attack four heroes. He will silence four heroes. And, oh, I'm sorry. He will uh, silence one hero, but he will attack four heroes. So he's AOE damage. You can, he attacks really damn fast uh, if you have him pretty maxed out. I've seen some people use him, so if you have him with one rage, man, you can build up 
a lot of attacks really fast using Thunder Blade. But at the same time, I said Arcane Tome is for AoE. He's also AoE, so if you wanted to, you can do the same thing. Use him as AoE and build up his power using Arcane Tome as well. So, Thunder Blade or Arcane Tome, depending on how you build up Great Sage. So, if you have him maxed out with a level 20 skill or level 16, where you at least have it where you can attack with one rage, yeah, I would go Arcane Tome. But if you don't, uh, and you want to go where you are currently set up, uh, if you're not attacking as fast, but at least you're still attacking fairly quickly, I would say Thunderblade. And let's go to the next guy, would be uh, Pangoli. If we were to go Pangoli, I'm using Arcane Tome on him because he is pretty much pure splash damage. He's AoE all the way. Other than his regular attacks, he, he does AoE, like massive AoE. A lot of damage really quickly. But Arcane Tome, I've actually tried this out. Arcane Tome versus Thunder Blade. I do a lot more damage using the Arcane Tome compared to the Thunder Blade. So you can use either or, but it's... But I go for some of the splash damage, like I mentioned before. Splash damage. Pangoli. Next one uh, that I had on my list here that I wrote down is my landslide. My landslide, guys, you guys know. This guy is pure tank mode. He he makes everybody attack him. So if you're in a position where other heroes are dying, all you gotta do is launch his taunt and everybody starts changing their direction towards landslide. So, pure tank, pure heals, pure madness, landslide, look at this. Look at how much he will heal. Sorry, I clicked the wrong one. His divine stomp, he's gonna stun his targets, removing their buffs, removes their immunity, attacks them. And forces them to attack him so that all damage is focused onto one guy, which is landslide. That is insane, insane. So if you had that with a Dragon Heart, not only will you get your own heals from your hero skill, your divine skill, you're gonna get heals plus dodge from the Dragon Heart, guaranteed. Guaranteed. All right, guys? So next one on my list is Ambrosia. Uh, I recommend using for Ambrosia, I would say Arcane Tome when you're using her as the offensive. If you're going on the offensive, she's going to need the Arcane Tome because she does a lot of splash damage. Because her Retribution is practically pure splash damage. Uh, also, her, her Divine is splash damage. So... If you, if you were to use those two in combine, uh, or combination, yeah, that's splash damage with splash damage. So Arcane Tome is what I recommend all the way. Because when I said Arcane Tome is meant for splash damage, if there's splash damage that is killing stuff, you are going to gain so much fury in such a short time. You would be at 100 fury, and you wouldn't even realize how fast it went because it's going splash damage. And the last one is Abyss Demon. Abyss Demon, you don't understand how much the Thunderblade has saved me with Abyss Demon. The Abyss Demon came close to dying so many times. But like once, because he hit so fast, because I used uh, Blockhead as my hero aid, he attacks extremely fast that... He would proc lightning bolts against the buildings and it literally saves his life. He's attacking, he's attacking, and then he's suddenly, he's like, oh no, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. And then the thunder blade procs the lightning. Next thing you know, greatness. He, he just heals up pretty much to the full. So anyway, guys, that is all for my guide today.
I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share.